All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, and I'm just going to go for it with the title of this one, a knife of the year contender from out of nowhere. Who made this? And this is the Fera Monster Aurora Rays. And the reason I'm saying that, guys, until recently, I didn't even know these guys existed, but they've existed for a long, long time. So stick around, and let's right out of the box... I want you guys to see this knife. This thing is incredibly beautiful. This is the Aurora Rays with this beautiful Starburst Sunburst Aurora pattern here. And guys, they went for it. We have a hand rub satin M390 blade. Sick looking knife. So why did I say... Uh, from out of nowhere, because guys, Aurora, I mean, excuse me, Ferrum Monster only has three models, and nobody even knew they existed until recently. Um, they are a company in China that has been an OEM for other companies, sounds like maybe Best Tech and others, for a long, long time, but we never knew they existed until they decided to drop the Aurora Rays, and two other models, which, by the way, those other two models are going to be on the way here. I'm on a pass around for them uh, before too long. Uh, the Glidemen, and I can't remember the name of the other one, but man, th there will be a link down below, and they're just killing it. All right, let's jump into this guy. We've got beautiful titanium scales with, again, this Starburst pattern and a blue Anno uh, finish on there with beautiful backspacer that stands proud and has some jimping and a lanyard hole. Uh, beautiful finishing on this. Um, guys, I literally have one minor knock. Okay, two minor knocks on this knife, and that's it. And we'll get to those in a minute. There is beautiful uh, milling inside for weight reduction, Nice open construction, a longer backspacer, but still open. You do have a frame lock with an over travel stop and a um, lock bar insert steel. Uh, we are locked up at like 20 to 25, maybe even 30. Um, we are dead center, and here's knock number one. I wish they had brought this blade. I know what they were trying to do, trying to keep this as low profile as they can. But if they just t tip this up just a tiny bit and then brought that tip out to the end, just like another eighth of an inch, I think this thing is a total home run. It is centered uh, for sure. Let's double check. Yeah, I okay. I would call it centered, but it might be off to the show just a little bit. I've not adjusted on this at all. Beautiful pivot. Gorgeous there. When we open this up, yeah, no side to side, no up and down, locked up like a bank vault. Um, great detent. Now we have jimping that comes up and kind of around, not all the way around, but I'm not push buttoning this. This is a shape for me of a light switch. Uh, could you push button it? Let's just see. Yeah, not really. So that jimping going around the back doesn't matter to me. Uh, that's where the jimping belongs. Now, guys, Four finger grip and a finger well here that locks you in. And this feels great. Now, one of the my other nitpick is I just wish this clip was a little bit higher. Um, and because it does, you know, it's it's a little tough in and out of the pocket for me because I have cargo pants that are lighter material. Now, I do love that they stop their milling where that clip lands. The clip mostly sits on the frame and not on the lock bar, so it doesn't really sit on the lock bar. You can see there. We do have three cuts here. They do feel fine. No sharp edges. Beautiful satin hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Uh, you do have a nice pass through to the lock bar. Look, guys, beautiful knife, and yet they, they took a hunk out of it to give me access and make the knife workable and I love it. It doesn't bother me in any way. I have a great chamfer. Works like a charm. You can see, I mean, it, it is on bearings. Smooth, 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 smooth. Uh, and then up here, you have a nice landing spot. 
and it is great with that harpoon there and this beautiful swedge. I don't personally care that it doesn't have jimping. I don't need it because I'm locked in right there. Now, I just have a tiny little bit of cardboard sitting here, but that'll be enough to show you that this guy uh, will cut um, just a phenomenal edge. I mean, it came out of the box with a wonderful M390 edge. And guys, we have thin stock high flat grind. Oh, I've almost forgot. Uh, that grind, you see this right here? I can also do that. I can get in there on this part right here, and I can middle finger flick this guy off of the grind, which is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful finishing. Just gorgeous indeed. Those two nitpicks. Oh, by the way, I forgot to finish that thought. That thought was I wish the clip were a little higher, but I know exactly why they did it, because that clip does not play in the grip at all. If it were higher, you could almost, you could almost because of how thin this is, you could almost guarantee that was going to be a hot spot. And by keeping it lower, it's not. So, you know, for me, I can get it in the pocket. I just, I bet you with even jeans, it would bunch up as well and have a hard time getting in. Just wish that was a little bit higher. It is also not reversible uh, for those of you lefties out there. Sorry, but you don't really like right-handed frame locks anyway, do you? Nope, 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 you don't. All right, so next up is our comparisons. You can see it's shorter than the Ontario Rat 1 and longer than the Ontario Rat 2. Fantastic size uh, for most of you. Uh, uh, just to me, right in that sweet spot. And again, perfect four-finger grip. Nowhere to choke up. By the way, good sharpening choil. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, good plunge. No issues. That'll be there for time to come. Uh, let's get the specs up here. Now, these are available uh, at Ferro Monster's website, and that's where I will list them. Uh, there are one, two, three, four versions. Uh, there are two versions that are 256 and two versions uh, that are anodized or have a different finish, you know, in the hand rub satin as well. And those are 266. And this is one of those. Uh, there's a, I'll leave the link. There's a black on black that's 256 and like a gold, which is gorgeous um, on satin for 256. And then a gray one and this bluish colored one. Uh, that are 266, okay? Um, they do have PayPal as an option for those of you that are always looking for that, okay? Um, this is 8.19 inches with a closed length of uh, 4.72, uh, um, an overall height of 0.63 with the clip, okay? Um, the blade length is 3.46. The blade thickness is 0.14, but again, just comes down between that swedge and that grind. Has great geometry and comes down to a very thin edge. Uh, handle thickness, 0.47. It is flat, but chamfered really well and feels really nice in the hand. The weight is 3.9, which is perfect. 60 to 62 on the hardness of the blade. All of everything, uh, the clip material, the screws are all titanium. Uh, it is ball bearing assembly. And obviously, the opening is a flipper. So, guys, uh, again, out of nowhere, Aurora Rays and two other models from Ferro Monster. Thank you, Ferro Monster, for sending this out. Uh, I am impressed. Um, now, for some of you, if you're a flipper-only person, you don't like a flipper-only, then I get it. But again, you can flip it off of that grind, flick it off the grind. Uh, up to you, but I really dig this knife. So, there you go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the Aurora Rays from Ferro Monster, guys. Had a good time checking it out. So thank you so much. Make sure you subscribed and hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching the Nice Fast channel.